Hello and welcome to episode 1 of my Fallen Earth tutorial Let's Play series. This episode will be on an introduction to Fallen Earth. Fallen Earth is by developer Reloaded Productions. It is a free to play game and you can find it on Steam. For those of you that know about the Fallout games, and I expect quite a few of you do, this is very much like them. Except, of course, this is online and has PvP. Fallen Earth is an open world post apocalypse survival game, and of course, it is multiplayer. Now, before I read the text from the Steam page, just to quickly mention, you'll notice that I have four character slots, okay? That is because I made a purchase from the uh, marketplace. Um, many years ago in fact um, so when you start playing Fallen Earth for free you'll only have two character slots okay also in game your caps your money will be limited now I recommend uh, either watching this series or watching someone's series on YouTube uh, and obviously playing the game for quite a bit and if you find it's a game you enjoy then just make a purchase from their marketplace and you'll unlock four characters, two extra character slots, so you'll have four. And you won't be limited with the chips anymore and also you'll have access to global chat. So that's if you enjoy playing Fallen Earth, which I hope you will. Anyway, here is the text from the Steam store page to give you a little information about the game. It's 2156 and the world has been destroyed by both nuclear and biochemical means. Your story takes place in one of the few habitable places left in the world, the Grand Canyon. As a clone with an uncertain past, your job is survival in a world now built on destruction, betrayal and fragile factional alliances. Explore, harvest and stake your claim to over 1,000 square kilometres of harsh and mysterious terrain. The classless advancement and non-linear gameplay allows you to play the character you want. Join a random dynamic events to capture resources and invade towns. Capture and hold a, a progress town. Fight through instances. Take part in the rich faction backstory or make a living by selling what you scavenge and craft on the auction house. Fallen Earth gives you the freedom to do exactly what you want. The world may be a shadow of its former self, but there's no limit to what's possible for you to accomplish. So there we are, that's from the Steam page. What I will say to you is, uh, when it mentioned about the instances and capturing towns, that, my friends, is a lot of fun. That is something that I, now I don't normally PVP, but in the PVP in Fallen Earth is just fantastic. I mean, you're going to need to make a choice at some point as to what type of weapons you want to go for. Do you want to go melee with a two-handed or do you want to have two uh, one-handed weapons do you want to go with pistols do you want to go with a sniper rifle now a sniper rifle is what I was doing the PvP with it was fantastic I was laying flat down on the ground uh, with and I had an optic scope fitted to my um, sniper rifle with a great range and so I was scanning the flag that they had to get to and or other resources laying down on the ground in the grass and I was just sniping them away. It was just such glorious fun. Anyway, so I'll let you decide what weapons you want to go with. If you want to know what's good DPS throughout the game, it's pistols. I mean, they are fantastic. But bear in mind, you can use more, you can use melee weapons as well because it allows you to equip a load of weapons, which I'll show you. And so you can decide what your play style is. Anyway, let's start a new character. So we'll go to create. And yeah, as long as he's male, that's all I care about with all of this. But you can see you've got all the choices. Let's give him a name. See if it allow me that. No. 
Um, there you go. There you go, so we got a name. Bit long actually. I like you'll notice I like to keep the name short actually because in um, Fallen Earth the best way of getting materials around, you know, like resources for crafting is to mail them to eat, to your characters. And so mind you you can add someone to your friends list, then they'll automatically appear in the mailing list. So it doesn't so matter so much. Anyway, there we are, we've got a name, we've got a character, let's play. Now this game is a lot of fun to play. It's not a quick game, it's a game that takes time. So you will see that I will take my time through the progress of the game. And whilst I have fun, this series will continue. So let's minimize the chat. We don't wanna get distracted. And you can see it starts off by telling you the movement keys. So W move forwards. Um, S move back, you can strafe left with A, strafe right with D, space to jump, to, and let's see, what else does it say here? So yeah, the right mouse button allows you to look around, and if you hold down the left mouse button, you can walk, so that's my preferred method. Okay, so as you can see, it's giving us quests. So first quest is escape from the Hoover Dam goal just completed so I had to move into this room. Now it's telling me to press the middle mouse button or tab to enter aim mode. Now this is something important to get used to so you can either press the middle mouse button to bring up the target reticule or you can press the tab key. I usually use the tab key because it's much easier. Okay so we're going to go over here to this and you'll see that the cursor changes when you hover over it. So let's click on this. Okay, so now it's telling us to kill the clone dissector in this room. Toggle, toggle combat mode by pressing the tab key or the mouse, middle mouse button. Uh, right, okay, so there's the clone we've got to kill. If we press the tab key, and then left click. Now, whenever you're you doing. Come to the computer terminal. Okay, now, whenever you're in combat mode, always hover over their head when you're doing melee fighting or even shooting because you're going to get more, much more chance of criticals and you'll do more damage. When you kill something, move the cursor over the corpse, you'll see the icon changes, left click, and it allows you to loot and take all. You can see we've got a bit of armour there, but I'll show that in a moment. Okay, so now it's saying that voice you just heard told us to come over here and activate this computer terminal. Again, just single left click on it. We don't have much time, so I need you to listen to me. On the next computer, there's a region pod control terminal. Activate it. So now we can track the mission. Tracked quest missions will go over here as you can see. So I will track this mission. There is a limit to how many you can track and you will see that limit soon enough. So let's accept. Okay, so now what we need to do is activate this computer. So left click. Like this protocol, activate. And then we click back on here. Good work. That'll keep the cloning cycle going. Now, I need you to come get me. I'm on the other side of the Hoover Dam. There's a battle going on, but I'll try to get you through it. I hacked my workstation to get access to the dam's security cameras and door controls. I'll guide you from the cloning chamber to where I am using the radio in your clone collar. Now, head down the steps and through the hall. Don't worry, I'll put you on a safe path. Well, the safest anyway. So we'll accept that quest. Citizens, we are on lockdown. Any unauthorized personnel outside of the living quarters will be shot on sight. 
Thank you. Mm, well, that's very nice. That's Arrow Psy, Master's second in command. Believe me, she means what she says about killing you. You'll notice as you progress at the beginning, over here all of these um, tabs will appear and they're giving you different help on different items. So, very, very useful at the beginning when you don't know much about the game. The radar at the top there is showing us the red X, that's where we've got to go to. So, without further ado, let's get there. I want to try and get through the tutorial bit in this beginning Hoover Dam. Okay, so you can see the X has moved over there, so we'll just follow this around. Okay, so the axe is here, go to the corpse, left click, we got the axe. Okay, it's telling us now we need to equip the axe. If we press the I key, it brings up the inventory to equip an item, right click on it, left click equip. There we go, right click the weapon and equip. Those white crow are pinned down right where you need to go. You have to take them out. Okay, so now we need to do a bit of combat, so we will come up here. Still making clones, huh? I hope you're not itchy. I'm out of ammo, but those mercenaries up there don't know that. Okay, so I'll just say, got it. Alright, so we got to go and attack these mercenaries. Remember, press the tab key to bring up the reticle. And then left click. Try to do it on the head. Nicely done. See if you can find a key on one of the guards. Okay, so easy enough to start with. Okay, let's take all. Go through the door and down the hall. There's one of Master's men standing guard in the next room. Okay, so I just double left clicked on each individual item. I didn't want the key, that's why I didn't do take all, because I've got one already. Right, okay, so if um, if I bring up the character window, which, let's see if I can remember which one it was. If in doubt, if you're unsure though, down here you'll see it says pack for bringing up your inventory, missions for bringing up the missions window, which you can also press the J key to bring up, and Gear. Ah, it's the G key. So if you press the G key, this shows you all the equipment slots. Now you'll notice I've just picked up these weapons. So at the moment I'm using a two-handed weapon. What we can do is click the weapons tab in the middle and right click on the two pipes. I prefer to use them. Equip and equip. Notice it hasn't unequipped my axe. It uh, has just used them in these slots and to switch weapons what I can do here okay so let's close that if I now press control 3 and control 4 you see that I have my lead pipes equipped if I press control 1 it switches me back to my axe so it's a lovely way of easy easily accessing different weapons very quickly. Anyway, let's go fight the next one. He got what he deserved. Now, before you leave, try to find a rifle on one of the corpses in here. I wouldn't want you to bring an axe to a gunfight. Okay, so here we go. Lots of ammo and a gun. So let's grab that all. Okay, if we press the G key, just so you can show, show you what slot it's going to go into, right click the gun equip. It's gone into the control 2 slot. So control 1 are two handed axe and control 2 our rifle so let's do control 2 
there we are we got ourselves a gun now oh, cool right let's carry on now you're headed for the medical bay it's where they operate on clones and be careful okay all units report to the command center now well wow, that sounded a bit like my ex anyway so to reload your weapon press the r key if it is low on ammunition, which you can see up here, by pressing the R key will reload. This is the total amount of ammunition I have. This is how much am ammunition the gun holds. To begin with in the game, the starter guns will only hold a low amount of ammunition. But as you improve your guns, they will hold more and more ammo, which is cool. So let's click here. Okay, let's just mention the zoom and scope. When using a two-handed weapon, hold down B or the right mouse button while in aim mode to look through the scope. When, when dual wielding, press the right mouse button to fire the off-hand weapon and hold down B to look through the scope. If your current weapon does not have a scope, holding down B will still zoom in slightly. You move slower though when you zoom in. So, okay, let's give that a go. So, press the tab key, right mouse button zooms, and headshot. There you go, that's what you want to do, headshot them. Ah, hate it when they duck. Okay, reload, zoom. Reload takes a little while on the beginner guns, but you'll get there. Snipers! Holy shit! Take cover! Okay, so as you can see, the sniping is, like I said, a lot of fun. But you wait till we get a decent zoom, like a really long range one. Then it gets ultra cool. Okay, I'm just taking all the ammunition because it will save me making a load. Okay, so let's continue on. And in here we... Ah. Alright, I should have taken these snipers out before trying to walk in there. Which the game has told me to do. So, let's press tab, zoom. Now notice when I hover over them it's saying in red 33, 32 meters away. So the range of my gun if I go into gear and hover over my rifle you'll see the range for the rifle if I can find the range is 30 meters so I need to get a little closer before I can hit them so just to show you if I zoom in here you'll notice it's red if I walk a little closer now I can hit them good work but with all the fighting going on you're going to need some med kits the light bearers are experts in healing so I bet they can help you Okay, here's one of the factions, the Light Bearers. Uh, the factions in Fallen Earth, again, is very cool. You'll need to decide who you want to faction with, but they all have their own unique benefits. So let's go talk to the Light Bearer. Many thanks for helping us. We came to save these mutants from being slaughtered by Alec Master's scientists, but I didn't think they'd be armed. If you hadn't come, we might not have survived. Okay, so let's accept the quest. The will be avenged, but Shura and their allies will pay! Kill them! Kill them! That's definitely my ex. Right, okay, head to the next room. So, even though you see that icon above the head, I've already been given the quest from them. So, just pretty much ignore that once you've... It just hasn't updated, so that's okay. If I click again, you'll see thanks for helping that us. there isn't we another quest. So we'll continue here. 
to where the red X is and continue on. Don't shoot! I need your help! Okay. These guys look like enforcers. I think you can trust them. Okay, enforcers are another faction, so you decide whether you want to align with them. But anyway, for now, let's talk to him. Do you have any medkits? The white... Okay, now we're going to start using one of the different kind of skills. I mean, with Fallen Earth, it's a classless, uh, levelless game, which is fantastic, because it means you can totally develop your character how you want. Now, in other games, like um, with EverQuest, you remember there's spells as well as melee. Well, the version of spells is done through skills like this. So here we have a healing um skill so it's called staunch wound and it will do some healing so if i left click on cell sil b and click on or press the o key because it's that's where my hotkey is you'll see up here staunch wound and they're healed Shit. we've got hostiles incoming i need your help to fight them off oh i better reload right in my way yeah I'm not the quickest at uh, fighting oh here there we go no, I'm certainly not the quickest. I've got a bit rusty. It's been a while since I've played Fallen Earth. A year or two, in fact. Which is why I thought it would be nice to do a series on it. Okay, always grab the ammo. Right, so moving along with the quest, we now need to go up here. She does sound a bit disturbed. Anyway, so let's go down the stairs and continue on with the progression. Actually, if I gone, I think I'm supposed to, oh yeah, I've got to click on the panel. Okay, I thought I'd clicked on this panel, but it didn't work. So, there we go. So we'll strafe to the right. There he is. Oh. I should have brought up my melee weapon. Never mind. Get some headshots in. Do like doing them. Oh, here we go. Pistol time. You notice they do like to duck and dive the uh, NPCs, which okay, is cool. Now we have to get to the rear. Oh, damn it. Oh, hell, they're coming in. Listen, clone, I got those two, but there's more coming. You've got... So you can see the game's giving us a load of knowledge in order to do harvesting of different materials. Let's bring up the G key and equip the pistols, because I do love my pistols. Okay, so we need to do control. I can't actually see what that's gone on to. Control. Let's see, so we use three and four, that must be five and six. So let's give it a go. 
Control 5 and Control 6. Yeah, there we go, there's our pistols. That is my personal preferred form of combat, is the pistols. But again, you choose whatever you want. I'm not saying pistols are the best. I guess the gamers, they, the developers have balanced all the weapons out. It's just for close combat, pistols do real good damage. As you're going to see as we progress. Okay, so we're carrying on with the quest. we got to find a guy in here. There he is. Let's go talk to him. Hey, over here! Cool, I'm still getting knowledge. Oh yeah, see my bars filled up down here with all the different skills you can use. Once you get to level 15, though, all of these will become... Um, well, some of them will not be effective anymore. You see training abilities go away at level 15. So all these training abilities I'll lose at level 15. But that's okay because by then you'll know whether you want to use, uh, develop these abilities or not. But we'll take a look at them in perhaps a bit later. Let's talk to this guy. Never thought I'd be happy to see a clone. Maybe you can help me out. Turns out there's a bomb in the next room. Okay, so we got to follow him. Bombs right below us. I'll lead you to it. Of course, I'm a clone, so I'm expendable. Doesn't matter if a bomb blows me up, because I'll just come back. The bombs right there in the ATV. See those barrels? They're full of toxic waste. Now take a look at the ceiling. See that? Talking about the ventilation, so yep, the toxic waste will get put throughout the whole base. This room pumps air to most of the dam. If those barrels break open, everyone in the dam is dead. You've got to get the bomb away from the barrels. Okay, so let's do it. Right, so <clears throat> we're going to need to go down the stairs. When we get to the ground, we are then going to be attacked by some alien creatures. But, well, not aliens, some post apocalyptic whatever. Ah, shit! Underdwellers! So, let's let them get a little close. And then, miss them. Yep, they'll get a few hits in while I'm reloading. But not many. Good job. Now get on that ATV and drive it into the vault. Have fun. Okay, I normally reload just before looting, because that way you're doing something else whilst it's just reloading. Saves time as you can you'll see. Okay, I'm grabbing these uh items because they will prove useful later on okay right now to ride the ATV you simply left click on it and there we are we're on our ATV now let's go ride this bomb off to somewhere else right mouse button will steer you and I know I'm not the best in fact I'm pretty poor but never mind you're used to my uh, incompetency. If you press the left mouse button it speeds you up on the ATV. So I'm probably going to crash it again. And there you go. Goal completed. Welcome to LifeNet, a product of Global Tech. If you're seeing this, you are dead. But don't worry, with LifeNet, death is just a minor setback. You may be feeling confused, disoriented, or even a little scared. It's understandable. You just had your vigorous, happy life interrupted by... Explosion! Please, accept our condolences. But no more dwelling on the past. Right now, LifeNet is reconstructing your body. Thanks to our patented physical fitness will The magic of rebirth happens inside LifeNet's patented regeneration pod. And statistically, over time, it's refined and your perfectly cloned body comes out. You've also been fitted with a wireless neural scanner, providing dynamic syncing between your brain and the LifeNet database. 
Your memories will be But wait, there's more! Well, that was the timer, but I'll let this play out. Am I coming in? Clone, can you hear me? It's Elena Winters. Your stunt with the ATV saved the dam. It's thanks to you I'm alive to have this conversation. Even so, the battle took its toll. The dam fell to the Choda. The Choda got revenge on Alec Masters, but not before he added one last entry to his list of sins. Masters destroyed the LifeNet core, the mainframe for all the cloning chambers in the province. This has changed everything. LifeNet's creators never planned for this. They dreamed LifeNet would end the limits of a single lifetime and save humanity from its fear of death. Masters showed us the truth. People are afraid of death, but even more afraid of losing control. He sacrificed you and every other clone to keep anyone else from having access to immortality. So I did what I could. I rerouted your DNA through the auxiliary computers in the province, but it wasn't easy or quick. It's been four years since you died saving the dam. The destruction of the core damaged the backup storing your DNA. Worse yet, your future cloning potential has been compromised. You're dying. And I don't know how much time you have. Once you die, you stay dead, just like the rest of us. There's one way to fix this. You have to find the alpha clones whose DNA makes up the LifeNet database. If you can integrate their undamaged DNA with your own, you can undo what Masters did and restore your immortality. The only clue I've found points to the LifeNet facility near Embry Crossroads. There's a LifeNet technician there who can explain the Alpha Clone's location. You're about to wake up in a LifeNet station. The computer there will let you choose where to begin your new life. Remember what I told you. You're special. You were created to be immortal. LifeNet can give you back what Master stole from you. Don't forget that. And don't forget me. So there we are, a lovely, lovely introduction to the game. Um, it is a beautiful story and it's one of the reasons why I enjoy playing Fallen Earth so much because the storyline is just so, so much fun to follow along with. Uh, as you can tell, we're on a time limit with how, how long we're going to live. But that's nothing to worry about because as we go through the quests, we will hopefully succeed in writing the wrong that was done anyway the time has gone so i'm going to end the episode here and in the next episode we can actually can start off in the first town that we're going to choose wherever you are in the world god bless you and keep every last one of you safe thank you for watching and have a fantastic day i hope you enjoyed this introduction to fallen earth goodbye